Now let's take a look at Adam's find and replace capabilities. As you might suspect, you activate the find by hitting the command F button. This will pull up a pane at the bottom, which will allow you to directly type in and perform your search. So in this case, if I wanted to find the case of hello world, I could simply type that in and press enter. I can navigate between the different selected results by hitting enter or by using the, the command G command. The benefit of the command G is if you're already editing something within the editor, this will navigate on to the next search. There are also additional options within the find to use a regular expression, to use it case sensitive, to ensure that it's only within a selected area or if it contains a hold word. You can notice that each one of these has a key command as well. It also allows you to replace text directly within this as well. So in this case, if I wanted to replace this with hello world again, I could simply fill in this and running the command this time will occur, replace all occurrences with this as I search through. By default, this will only occur within the buffer window that we have currently open. If we wanted to search this for all files in the project, we would just simply use the command shift F, which will allow us to, to refine by typing in a directory or targeting specific files. For instance, if we wanted to target files that were just within the scripts directory, we could target that, or we could target a wildcard such as all of the JavaScript files. Hitting enter here will show me all of the hits that I have. In this case, in, I'm using a find and replace. So it will hit find all of the hits that I have in red and then showing me the example of all of the replace if I was to run the script. In this case, if I go ahead and I run this, I'll get a confirmation that this is okay to run. And I will now see that this has been updated in all of the files.